Yo guys, what is up? My name is Stone Cold Slayer, and I'm back here with some Fallout 4 rare weapons for you guys today. And to be start, I'll be showing you guys the gainer. So if you guys open up your Pip Boy, you'll see that Sanctuary and Vault 111 are right there. And then this gun, we're gonna get the gainer. It's basically a rare 44 Magnum that shoots fire rounds. Basically, it's really cool and it's pretty fun to use. Honestly, I really like it. Um, but it is not in actual locations, but it's like right next to Finch Farm and all these other ones. What are they? Um, the Pier. Uh, so yeah, anyway, once you get here, you'll turn around, there'll be like this opening in the side of the building, or the hill. Uh, there'll be like a little office area in here, you walk in, there'll be some stuff in here, and then there'll be a door on your left that leads to the pump house. So we open up that door, in we go, and then we will find the gainer in here. Well, actually, you'll see, um, there's an unaccessible door in here, once I get to it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slow. I had to do that. Just because I always like doing that. It's really fun to do. I don't know why. <laughs> it's pretty fun. But, yeah, anyway. So, the gainer, guys. It's basically this 44 Magnum. But, I think it's 40. Yeah, it's a 44 Magnum. It does insane damage. Because it does, like, 15 fire damage as well. See? Alright. So, here's the door I was talking about. The door is inaccessible. But, wait. There's buttons here. If we push the buttons, stuff happens. So, there's a coffee pot. That's great. Uh, no, but here's the code. 0451. So this means 10451. Because for some reason, 0, or there is no 0, it starts at 1. So we go to 10, and then you put in 045 or 10451. But I'm a genius, and I'm like, hmm, did I do it wrong? I'm like, oh, I did. I put 54, of course. <laughs> That's me. Anyway, fail. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far, or this will help. All right, I hope you. I hope this helps you guys out. Honestly, sorry about that terrible quality for the second there. I was like getting up and doing crap. Um, anyway, my bad. Um, so the gainer sets target on fire for 15 points of damage. Has a base damage of 48. Um, I don't do any extra damage with pistols or anything, so there should be the actual damage for you guys. These rounds are kind of hard to come by. I only have 290, and I'm like a level 30. So, as a for upgrades, we can put an advanced receiver on. Does 88 damage, but as I only have gun nut three, I can only do a powerful receiver. So I'll put these on. It comes equipped with a bull barrel already, which is nice because it makes a huge difference, and I don't think I can make it until like Gun Nut 4. It comes with a reflex sight. Um, it's a pretty weird sight. Honestly, I prefer the standard sight, but since it came with it, I'm like, I guess I'll just try it, leave it on there. And you can do change the grip up, and then I'll show you guys what it's like to use. Um, so I just basically, okay, I didn't one shot a legendary, but it's pretty strong, honestly. These mongrels are stronger than I thought they were. So open up bats, and then we murder him. It looks pretty awesome when you shoot it, to be honest. Like, if you get a headshot, it looks like their head's just on fire or something. It just looks pretty cool. And then, uh, my person is terrible aim, but Critical Strike just murdered this feral mongrel straight in the head. And then here, I'll just one-shot the wild one, and it's dead. And it looks like it's shooting fire. Um, tried on some raiders. Bang. Dropped. It looks awesome, honestly. The reflex sight, uh, I could do without, honestly. But, it's pretty cool. I really like this gun, honestly. It's like a favorite of mine, and it's better than any other 44 Magnums I found, rare wise. Because why wouldn't you want something that shoots fire? And then Kate comes in with the assist, <laughs> of course, like always. But um, yeah, guys, that's the Gainer. <coughs> it is a legendary weapon found in Fallout 4. Next gun we'll be moving on to is wow, failure. I forgot what it was, but uh, if you go to Vault 111 and say, sure, I'm sorry right now. Oh, uh, what am I even doing? Oh, sorry, the Krem's tooth. <laughs> I forgot what the whole location was. I'm doing this afterwards, sorry guys, my bad. Um, so, Krem's Tooth can be found at Dunwich Forest, off to the right side of the map, the east side of the world. So if you go all the way, if you teleport to Dunwich Forest, if you've location found, it puts you up there on the top, so I don't even care about my health, so I'm just like bailing off the side. I'm trying to, guys, trying to show you guys the quickest way to do it. Um, and the first time you come here, this place is just full of raiders and ghouls. I killed probably like six legendary feral ghouls down here, honestly. And then you open that door, it leads to Dunwich Borers. So, this is basically a giant underground, like, mining cave system. There's tripwires and stuff set up down here. There's turrets, there's a bunch of raiders. Some of them are kind of strong, too. There's a named one called, like, Bedlam or something. So, anyway, you go in, find the Dunwich Doors, Doors, Borers door, go down the thing, turn left at the first corner. There's, like, a little, like, you guys saw it, but basically you go down there, turn left. Um, oh, and whatever you guys do, do not wear power armor here. Unless you have like some sort of flying mechanism on your power armor. Because Tanner came down here with power armor. And you have to go underwater to get Krem's tooth. And um, you can't get back up. 
So once you're down there, unless you can swim back up, you're not going anywhere. So Tanner brought down his power armor and got it stuck down there. So do not bring power armor. See, I've already cleared this area out for video purposes to make it easier. Show you guys where you're going. It's quite a long walk, honestly. I think it was like two minutes just to get to the bottom of this giant pit. So yeah, murdered ghouls everywhere around here. Some of these doors have like a flashback thing. You open them and it'll like take you back in time to like, I don't even know what, honestly, before the war, I guess. Before everyone was a ghoul and yeah, but I went the wrong way here, so this is not the way you go, so do not follow me. Because I get lost here and I'm like, uh, wait, where am I going? Because I was just trying to run through it as quick as possible, like to show you guys for this video. And I'm like, oh, duh, it's this way. So you take a right there. Uh, no, I'm dumb. Take a right right here. See, there we go. That's where I'm supposed to go. And it leads to this giant open area. Or not giant, but this more open area. There's a box with grenades and crap in it, probably. And then I went back to the original part, like right here. So Dunwich Borer's Hole that leads to Cram's Tooth. Cram's Tooth is. Yeah, this is like the back in time thing I was talking about. Spoiler, but. I don't know if I call it a spoiler, but and then there's a bunch of named people. Bloody Ramon, Tim Schutz, and Bob Stanson. Stanson? Oh, and James Hatfield. I don't know who these people are. I didn't know. I didn't know there's a tour thing to them. They have stuff on them. Um, but basically, Krem's Tooth is down this watering hole. Oh, also a good perk to take would be the, um, <laughs> what's it called? There's a perk, like, like Aqua Boy or something, where you can go underwater. You breathe underwater unlimited and don't take radiation damage underwater or don't get radiated by water or something but there it is Krem's tooth um along with some fat man rounds i'm sure you guys have a fat man by now if you're watching this honestly <laughs> i've got like six fat man honestly i was just exploring down here but i would just get out of here as quick as possible because it's five rads a second so that's not very great and i'm like <laughs> stuck in the water here like on a rock or something but Krem's tooth is honestly really fun i really like this now I think it does like 30 or 40 damage originally, unless you guys upgrade the melee perk where you do more damage with melee weapons. Um, so for me, it does, as soon as I find it, because apparently I'm blind, I skipped over like four times right there, Krem's Tooth. It does 85 damage for me and three poison damage. Honestly, I think it looks cool. It's basically a variation of the machete blade. And um, you can see me using it on these mutants here. It's not the strongest against them, but it's a really fun gun to use. And it poisons them as well, so it's not awful. And I, I was doing 85 damage here, so I think it does like 30 or 40 standard or something. I'm not 100% sure on the original um, number, but it's fun to use. I like slicing people open with it, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not as strong as the super sludge that I usually use, because honestly, I really like melee weapons as a game, and I did not cater my person to it at all until like afterwards I started playing. I'm like, dude, melee weapons are super fun. You don't have to worry about ammo. But anyway, guys, that was Krem's Tooth. Sorry if I'm just like rambling on. All right. And I'm dumb because I forgot the next one as well. But um, Sanctuary is right here. And if you go down here to... Oh, sorry, Grognax Axe. I really like melee weapons. So I want to show them off this time. I really like the Gainer as well. So these are like my three favorite weapons, honestly. The Gainer, Grognax Axe, and Krem's Tooth. So Krem's Tooth will be located around Diamond City in the library. It's um, Hubris Comics. We go here. It'll take you outside here. There's Hubris Comics. There's like a dead raider outside or something. There's a bunch of ghouls in here as well that you'll have to clear out. I think there's like quite a few too, like at least six or something. Uh, I'd already picked up the axe and I didn't realize it, but I swear to you guys, I know where, where I was. Um, hits cause more stagger and targets take bleed damage. I also have upgraded melee on here too. I think it does like 85 for me now. Because, yeah, alright, see it's right here in this display case. It says display case, pop it open, Grognax axe is sitting right in there. So just walk in the store and on the left. So I suppose you guys could just run in grab the axe see there it is it looks really cool honestly and grognax like the guy on the comics if you guys are watching this video i'm sure you know that by now but basically this is grognax axe there is no upgrades you can do this or krem's tooth well you can upgrade krem's tooth but it just turns it back into a machete blade and why would you want to do that because it just reduces the damage as well grognax axe is huge though it's like this giant two-handed melee weapon that you use and oh and power armor also all these things do more damage you guys didn't know melee weapons wise I just critical that guy's arm off, Super Mutant Skirmisher, pretty strong one. Um, but basically guys, this was my Fallout 4 Rare Weapons thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I'm doing these every Saturday now, so stay tuned for more next week. Um, three a lot, three a week is quite a bit, honestly, it takes a bit to do these, that's why I do them weekly and not like more often, but these are pretty fun to do, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. My name is Stone Cold Slayer, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>